Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Caymans. Mr. Eicher here. Coming at you with a lesson about linear programming word problems. If you watched the previous video, we worked on mechanics on how to deal with linear programming constraints and feasible regions and things like that. In this lesson, we will actually do several word problems to give you the sense of how to approach these. So first off, we have as a receptionist, oh, first off, you should print these notes if you can. That would be really helpful, especially with these grids that we're going to be using. So first off, we have as a receptionist for a veterinarian, one of Dolores Alvarez's tasks is to schedule appointments. She allots 20 minutes for a routine office visit and 40 minutes for a surgery. The veterinarian cannot do more than six surgeries per day. The office has seven hours, 420 minutes, available for appointments. If an office visit costs $55 and most surgeries cost $125, find a combination of office visits and surgeries that will maximize the income the veterinarian uh, practice receives per day. So from the last sentence, we find a very important piece of information. We're looking for the combination of office visits and surgeries that will maximize profit for the business. So those things that we are trying to figure out that combination, those are our variables that we're looking for that we're going to define, define the variables. So let's let X be office visits and Y be surgeries. So let, we're going to let X equals the, uh, actually let's do the other way because of how I've made the scale. Let's let office visits We'll let X be number of surgeries and Y be number of office visits Now we could have very well switched those and made X be the office visits, but based on the grid that I've provided here for you, uh, I want to make the X surgeries and Y the office visits. The next question is write a system of constraints, and this is typically the hardest part for students. So let's look at the units that we have. We're going to collect similar units. So on this step we're collecting similar units. So uh, first thing we have is minutes. That was one of the units we have. We have 20 minutes for an office visit and 40 minutes for surgery. And then we have a total number of minutes in a day, 420 minutes in a day. So one of our equations that we're going to write is the minutes unit. So we have 20 minutes per office visit. That's 20 per Y office visit. We have 40 minutes per surgery, so 40X. And that needs to be less than or equal to 420. You can't do more than 420 minutes because they don't have that much time. But you could be equal to or less than that. So that's our first equation. So that equation, just to match the highlighting, that equation is the minutes equation. Um, the next unit that I notice we have dollars. We have $55 per office visit, $125 per surgery, and also that's what we're trying to maximize is dollars, maximizing the income. So that information is actually going to go down here on the objective function. The objective function, our objective is to maximize income. So the objective is to maximize income. That's our objective. So those numbers are going to come down here in our function f of x comma y equals and we have $55 per office visit. Office visit is y and we have $125 per surgery which is x. 
if you want to say 125x plus 55y, that works too. Um, and then the last piece of information it looks like we have is this piece of information. Cannot do more than six surgeries per day. So that's a statement in and of itself. There's no other, like we've highlighted all the other numbers and units. So no more than six surgeries. No more than six surgeries would be uh, X is surgery. So X can be equal to or less than six, but it can't be more than six. So that's a constraint. So um, that's the surgery constraint, number of surgeries. I'll just say number of surge and color code that. That was that green information up at the top. Uh, now, technically, we have another um, constraint. The other constraint is just our number of office visits has to be greater than or equal to zero. Um, that's just because you can't have negative office visits. Um, so those would be our three constraints. And we're going to graph those constraints. So let's start with um, this first one right here. Um, let's find the x and y intercept. So if we plug 0 in for x, if we plug 0 in here for x, that would be 20y equals 420. So dividing by 20, that looks like it's going to be 21. And then the other intercept, if you plug in 0 here for y, that would leave us 40x equals 420. And then that would be, let's see, 42 over 4 is 21 over 2, so 10.5, 10 10.5, comma 0 when we solve that. So we can graph those two ordered pairs. 0, comma 21 is right here. And 10.5, comma 0 is right here. So um, just to find a couple more points on this line, we're going to go down 21 and then over 10.5. And that looks like if you double 10.5, you would get 21. So is that a slope of 2? It would be a negative 2 since we're going down. So if you follow that pattern down to over 1, 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 down to over 1. Uh, yeah, it looks like that x-intercept hits perfectly on that. So this would be our first constraint, this line right here. And this line is the 20y plus 40x is less than or equal to 420 line. Uh, and then shading, um, you can't have more minutes in a day, so we're going to be shading below this line. Um, next we'll do this graph. The x is less than or equal to 6, so you find 6 on the x-axis. And there's a lot of coordinates that have an x-coordinate of 6, so all these points and everything in between them. So we'd have this line is the x equals 6 line. And we want to be less than or equal to that, so now we're on this side of the line. Uh, and then finally we have y is greater than or equal to 0. Uh, find 0 on the y-axis, so y is greater than or equal to 0. This is y equals 0. And we're above that line. Uh, now, I guess technically I should have included right here that our number of surgeries can't be 
less than zero. So I'll include that zero is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to six. You could do zero, you could do six, you could do any integer in between. But um, that's what we have. So we'd have this other line right here, x equals zero. So that, uh, and you want to be greater than that. So it looks like our shaded region is, uh, let's see, I'll shade it in yellow, I guess. Our shaded region, we hit here, we hit here, we hit here and here, and we have shaded everything in this region. So this is our feasible region. To answer the question, you have to be within the constraints to be able to maximize the income of the office. So when we go, to part C, uh, we've already written the function we're going to use. We've already graphed the system of inequalities, the feasible region. So that is what we did in yellow up there. Um, so I'd like you to identify the vertices of the feasible region, which I guess I can uh, highlight in a bluish color. That one right there does meet at a perfect integer value, integer pair. So you have four vertices, and you're going to plug those four vertices into your objective function. So for instance, I'll do uh, an easy one like 0, 0. You're going to do f of 0, comma 0. That would be 55 times 0 plus 1 to 25 times 0. Uh, it might be helpful to rewrite this objective function just so you don't make a mistake as 125x, which is the first coordinate, and then plus 55y, which is the second coordinate. Um, so then evaluating that, we would have zero dollars. Hopefully that makes sense, right? If there are no sur surgery scheduled and no office visits, you're not going to make any money, zero dollars. That's not going to maximize. So um, as we try this, I'd like you to do question E, figure out those vertices, and then evaluate and then do question F, actually answer the question, what, uh, how many surgeries and how many office visits should Dolores schedule in order to maximize the income of the office? Um, that was, oh, oh, I guess. Oh, I see. On E, on E, you're going to be stating what the coordinates are. This goes down here, and you'll continue uh, F, and then finally on G, you'll be able to answer. It says select the greatest or the least result, answer the question, include units. Thanks for watching this video. In the next video, we'll look at page two, which has uh, two more linear programming word problems.